Would everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please stay tuned for this morning's version of Kaleidoscope. <laughs> Good morning, Interboro High School. Today is Wednesday, April 16, 2008. I'm Barry Harrison. Thank you for joining us. There's 57 days left until graduation. And now over to weather. Good morning, Interboro. This is Rudy with your daily weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 67. Tonight's low will be 44. The current temperature is 44 and the humidity is at 63%. And the barometric pressure is at 30.27 and steady. And now over to your birthdays. Good morning, this is Joe with today's headline. A Philadelphia electric constructor pleaded guilty yesterday to 98 federal criminal charges. Now back to the news desk. Two scholarships worth $1,000 are available from the Interboro Education Association for any qualified senior who hopes to become a teacher. For more information, please contact Mrs. Black in room 310 and applications are due by April 30th. Voting for FBLA officers will take place today in room 221. Members may stop by any time during the day to cast ballots. Course selection sheets are being distributed in all social studies classes this week, so we'd like to give you a friendly reminder that students can sign up for television studio production classes as an English elective. It may be a good idea if you have an interest in video editing and or on-air work. The course number is 3025, so keep that in mind. Now over to sports. Good morning, this is Matt and Danielle with today's sports. The Flyers won in Game 3 last night, 6-3. The Phillies came back to score four runs in the ninth to defeat the Astros, 4-3. They play again tonight at 7.05 on CN8. The Sixers also play tonight versus the Bobcats at 7 p.m. on Comcast Sportsnet. Girls across lost yesterday to Pottstown, 16-6. Girls track defeated Penwood and Sun Valley yesterday. Baseball also won yesterday, 11-1 versus Harrington. Good job, guys. Boys lacrosse also plays at Westchester Ruston tonight at 7 p.m. Boys track is at Harriton today. And finally, ninth grade baseball plays at Sun Valley today. Now back to the news desk. Prom tickets will be on sale during all lunches. Tickets are $55. The last day to purchase tickets is today. I'll say that again. The final day to purchase tickets is today, so don't miss out. Anyone over 18 test driving select vehicles at Robin Ford this Saturday can earn $20 for the school. If you, must, if you take a test drive, you must mention Interboro High School. The Career Center has a list of job opportunities for lifeguards, as well as many other occupations. For more details, stop by the Career Center. Now over to the menu item of the day. Good morning, Interboro. This is Dave here at the menu. Today we'll be having golden brown turkey pot pie, carrot sticks, applesauce, and of course that legendary half pint of 1% chilled milk. Now we're to vocab. Hey Doug, nothing like a bit of orange drink, huh? Oh, nothing like it. Good morning, Interboro. This is Andy and Doug with the quote of the day. You know, Penny Wagner once said, once you've consumed your first drink of alcohol, you've lost your ability to make sound judgment. Now over to this day in history. Okay, Doug, so you're ready to start filming? No, one second. I need one more thing. Good morning, Interboro. 
This is Dunk and Jess with the stay in history. On this date, 1962, Walter Cronkite began anchoring the CBS Evening News. And on this date, 1987, the U.S. Patent Office began allowing the patenting of new animals created by genetic engineering. On this date, 1999, Wayne Gretzky officially retired from the NHL. Now over to the trivia. Yo, what's up, Enver? This is Chain with your pointless trivia. Did you know the Mona Lisa has no eyebrows? Now over to entertainment. Good morning, Enver. This is Paul with the entertainment. Some DVDs released this week are Juno. Alien vs. Predator or Requiem. For the Devil Knows You're Dead and In the Name of the King, a Dungeon Siege Tale. Now over at the news desk. Thank you for watching Kaleidoscope, everybody. I'm Barry Harris. If you are listening to us in a car, we'd like to say thanks for the ride. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>